We're on your side with a scam warning. A Virginia Beach woman almost fell for it, but got wise and wants to warn others. Yeah, it starts out as a business deal to wrap your car with an advertisement. But things go south when you go to cash the check and send them some money back. Ten your size, Chris Horn is here to explain. Yeah, the whole idea of a check with excess money, a trick that's been around for years. This is just the latest variation of it. Fortunately for this Virginia Beach woman, she got suspicious right away. The scammers send you a big check and tell you to wire the extra funds to one of their partners in crime. Once you do that, too late. The work sounded easy. They're looking for people in our area to wrap their vehicles. Uh, for advertisement. And the money sounded good. And for doing so, you get $500 a week. But instead of just $500, she received by express mail a check for $2,500. Real bank, real company, instructions by text. Your weekly payment is $500. You will deduct your first week payment, and the remaining money is for the installer. They wanted her to wire that two grand to a phony installer in advance. And then Escolastico made a smart decision when she easily could have made a costly one. So I called the, um, the bank and verified it was not valid. They said, don't deposit that check. Here's what would have happened if she had fallen for the scam. A couple of days later, the check would have bounced, and I would have been in the hole for $2,500. And for Escolastico, her husband, and their five kids, that would have been costly. That's like two months mortgage and, you know, utility payments and food out of my kid's mouth. Here's how it would have worked. The scammers used the name of a legitimate company and a real bank without their permission. Once you deposit the check, a bank can take up to several days to determine that it's bogus. Meanwhile, you've wired money to one of the scammers, and that transaction cannot be reversed. Escolastico reported her experience with a complaint to the FBI, and we have more information on how to avoid being victimized by these scams on wavy.com. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.